As we have some very sad news to start this video off, uh, I'll post the picture up on the screen. We had to fire Harry from employment here at Nasty Racing HQ. I'll put a picture for the welds. Those aren't going to cut it for $7.25 an hour. Or is it $7.50? Is it $7.50 or $7.25? I don't know. When Harry got his check, he wasn't very happy. So this looks bent. It's bent as shit. Bent this. I was going to use this. Well, that table is also not flat. No, I mean, it is, it is definitely bent. The end of that's bent. Let me see what else I got. What we're doing today is we're going to try to put this bar in here and just get it tacked up. Oh, wait, I'm not even using this, Steve. Never mind. I don't know. What was this used for? I think it was a drive shaft. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, not a drive shaft, but a uh, steering, uh, for your steering at yeah, one point. Steering shaft. So, we're going to put um, a bar in here. So we just need to cut it, and, uh, and we're gonna put it like lower. It's gonna be back a bit further. It's gonna be like probably, I'd say probably right about there. See, like on this side, right in the center of that. So you're gonna notch it? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna notch it with the little, with the, the grinder. Uh, but we just want to get it level. And honestly, it's like I understand how everybody wants everything level, but this doesn't have a removable front end, so no one will ever see that it's not level. But what we're going to do is we're going to build a bracket off here to hold up the inner core. Because right now the inner core is held up by the turbo kit. So we're going to do that, take some load off of it, and then we'll put some standoffs on the radiator. And that will take the play out of the radiator. And then we can mount the fan on it and be done with that. And that kind of wraps up as far as like the structural stuff in the front end. Hanging, mounting, doing all that stuff. That's all taken care of. Then we can go forward to plumbing it. And we can um, start the wiring. Start the wiring. we got to put the coils on it patch the firewall, um, just, you know, keep rock and rolling. Uh, Harry's going to do some torque boxes in this, and, um, and we got some, some really cool stuff planned. But for today, what we're going to do is just try to get this into position. Into position, yeah. So we just need to start taking off uh, some meat from the bottom, get it like, not like a 45, but pretty severe angle on it, and, uh, and then we'll cut the other side to length and then uh, notch that as well. So. I'm ready to get this done so we can clean up the engine bay and start making it look like a, a normal car. We gotta do some welding on the water pump too, so we gotta do some, some taking off of things and putting back on. We got the bar notched and set in there. Yeah. Logan's, of course, got to be on the phone, so we can't get shit done around here. So uh, we're uh, we're trying to get it all into place and tacked up. <laughs> um, the bar, these aren't in the same exact spot on each side, so the bar is like crooked like that. So I'm trying to offset it a little bit forward so we can really make sure the radiator is standing up. I think it's good. Are you happy with it? I'm happy with it. Are you? This is the first bar I've ever notched. Yeah, we did all right. That's why I got a little fat, but it's okay. Yeah, we got it right though. So it in. I'm gonna like run like a couple beads on each side just to get it in there and then we'll pull the front end off, take the turbo off to weld everything out.
The weld, not pretty so far. I'm a bench welder by trade. Oh, is that the excuse? I don't think you're welding too, too terrible for your first go at it on some pipe. First go at it, first go. It's, it's uh, there's a little gap on that side. Very concerning. It's um definitely weird. Uh, the MIG can there. fix that. Yeah, no, we're gonna take it all in there. I mean, it's it's structural. I'm gonna grab you two sticks. You want me to cut it in half so you can work with it a little better? No, no, I'll be all right. I used to work on something real long. Long and slim like that. Sure. Not gonna, not gonna lie to the people. This over here is bad. I'm gonna try to clean it up. We're not gonna look at that side. Well, let me get done with it first. I know what the issue is. What is it? I'm not wearing my gloves. You need your gloves, is I what you're saying? That's, that's like, it's like, you ever see that movie Magic Mike? Or not Magic Mike, whoa! What do you mean by that? Not Magic Mike. Not talking about that. The one where the kid gets Michael Jordan's shoes. Plays and, basketball. And plays basketball. Not Magic Mike. And I want y'all to think we're out here watching Magic Mike. You know, we had a great conversation last time about, uh, the Girls Gone Wild infomercial. Let's keep that going and not... Magic Mike. Let's just forget I, I said Magic Mike. Now... Maybe you've watched that before. Now... Oh, dude. I feel like... It just came back to you. Yeah, I'm good now. Are you happy with that, Walter? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Like, here, come get a zoom on that. Let me, let me go back to work over here. Like, decent, okay? Decent. Decent. Yeah, we're not gonna show this, on that side. This honestly doesn't look too, too, too terrible. This side, the fitment was key. All right, well, there you guys have it. That's a how to learn how to weld from all. I think well, come on, I've never done it before. That fast? I mean, definite, I mean, obviously room for improvement. Uh, but, it's on there and it's gonna serve a purpose and do its job. It's like the tube front end kit, it added structure to that also. Yeah. Um, that way whenever it goes so what we'll do too thin. We'll, we'll um, put two little weld on bungs here right on each side and then we'll come up with a piece of flat bar and have it bolt right to that so that'll hold the radiator tight up against it and then we'll build some L brackets we'll weld another set of um, bungs back here and then the L bracket will come down and we'll catch both of these so the this bar is going to be in charge of essentially taking some of the weight off the turbo kit for the uh, intercooler and then it'll be holding the radiator up because the radiator sits in um, in, like a, in pockets, so it, nothing has to hold the weight of it. We just gotta keep it held forward. So, want all that stuff solid mounted. 
everything on the car solid mounted. Um, motor mount, solid mount. I probably need to add a mid plate to it just because of the power we're about to make with this thing. So we're, we're going to be cooking with peanut oil and everything, you know? What kind of peanut oil you cook with? Standard uh, planters. What do you like? I like to clear the water. Clear the water? Yeah, I hear you. It was a little murky. I hear you. All right, y'all, we got this bar welded up. I'm pretty happy with, I mean, it's in there and it fits and I think it looks like it belongs there. Uh, it's gonna take some time next week just to get, so I gotta order up some fittings to go on, or I shouldn't say fittings, I should say bungs, to go on there to get everything all done. Once we get those tacked on, the brackets made, uh, we'll pull the front end off and then we'll go through and it'll, we'll do all of that with the front end off, pull, putting the motor in, mid plate, all that, don't need to have the front end on. Once all that's done, we'll stick the front end back on it. So the turbo kit will be coming off. Uh, just a bu you know, a bunch of really fun stuff's about to be happening. Yay. Um, <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it. Learn how to do some, uh, some chromoly table. Definitely different feel than stainless. The stainless, I like doing the stainless. I like doing the titanium. I like doing the aluminum, but that's obviously what I've done a lot of. The chromoly, maybe I can like it if I do more, but with chromoly, it's not a lot of bench welding. It's, you're going to be on the car or in the car. So that takes a whole nother skill set. Uh, really makes it, you really appreciate how nice these welds are that Harry does when he's in the car doing them. I mean, that right there. That's beautiful. So shout out to Harry uh, for just being a boss because it gives me new appreciation. Just like me welding these two little bars up right there. Um, it's definitely a lot of work. So shout out to Harry. Does a great job. And um, shout out to me. You know, shout out to me because I want to learn. And most of you people are scared to learn and fail. But I'm out here just trying to figure it out. And we're going to learn. And if I fail, you're going to watch me fail. We're going to figure it out. Look at this guy here. He got embarrassed. If you guys haven't sh seen yesterday's video, my man LP got embarrassed by that door. Is it, does it work better? It does. Yeah? You gonna do them all? Huh? You gonna do all of them now? No, I can't. We need to do the last one. The last one? Well, the last one's permanently closed. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, Eddie Murphy getting some work done. One step closer, baby. One step at a time.